Scene one shot, one take one. Hey filmmaker, Shung here. So this is my specially modded clapboard. This is my customized clapboard that I customized myself. Just DIY a lot of things to improve it, but also like deal with a lot of the issues that a normal standard clapboard have and just make it much better and on set to work much quicker without any issues. But underneath here, of course, it's just a very standard clapperboard that you can buy anywhere. And yeah, like you can buy uh, basically the cheapest one you can find on Amazon. And there'd be a link to like uh, clapperboards that you can buy. But the main thing is like you can't buy like a clapperboard with a lot of these features built in. So you do have to mod it or DIY it yourself. And the first thing you want to mod on a clapperboard or actually fix on a clapperboard is these three bolts here. So when you actually buy these cheap clapperboards, you might notice these three bolts are already very loose uh, out of the box or even already gotten uh, totally lost or like fallen off of the clapperboard. So the main thing is like these three screws, if you just directly tighten them really hard, then the yeah, clapper actually get locked and you can't open it. So to prevent that uh, or to actually mod it the correct way is to actually add washers uh, between the metal frame. So here uh, under the metal frame, uh, you can't really see it, uh, but under the metal frame, I've actually added two washers under the two bolts on the bottom. This way it gives it a um, yeah, just enough space for you to tighten all three of the screws without uh, affecting the top one. So this way, mine, I can still open it. It holds position, but I can still clap with it. If you normally tighten them, this is literally locked down and you can't really open it that much. So now because there is a washer, it can be tightened down quite a lot and then it still can be opened and used as a clapper. But also uh, one thing I should suggest if before you tighten everything down is add a washing line. So this washing line I've added uh, yeah, between the frame and this uh, clapper part. And this allows me to add a carabiner. So this I can hook to my, uh, yeah, to my vest or my chest rig or to my pants and I don't need to hold it the entire time, especially if you are second AC or first AC on set, you still need to do quite a lot of chores and yeah, you don't want to put down the clapperboard somewhere and forget about it. And it's better to have it on your body the whole time. And a tip to keep your clapperboard more pristine for a long time is to use uh, gaffer tape onto your clapperboard. So these yellow parts right now, I have added like a uh, gaffer tape and you can use whiteboard markers onto like certain kinds of gaffer tape and also wipe away the whiteboard uh, markers. How I would use it is actually uh, for certain productions, we do use permanent markers and then you can uh, peel away the uh, gaffer tape when the production is uh, red or already wrapped. And yeah, most of the time, like you don't have to wipe away, uh, especially the production name, the director camera name. And yeah, most of the time daily, you do need to replace the one of the date. However, because like if you are using whiteboard markers onto the gaffer tape, it still can be easily brushed off. So that's why uh, I prefer using permanent markers on this section. And then you can use, of course, like whiteboard markers for your standard uh, yeah, scene shots and take for those to have like gaffer tape. However, the big elephant in the room, of course, is that I don't have like that on these sections, but I have like uh, a slate tags. So these tags are Velcroed onto here so I can easily remove them, but also easily replace them if needed. And these tags are waterproof. And the reason why I have made it like this is to make this into a wet weather slate. So if you have worked in humid conditions or like rainy weather, you might have noticed that whiteboard markers don't write after a while, especially if there has been rain onto your clapperboard, that it's really hard to write something or like the ink just doesn't want to stick. 
So that's why I have this system. So these are like, um, yeah, laminated tags and these just are weatherproof. So if rain falls on them, they won't like, uh, yeah, the ink will still be okay. And yeah, I can easily just switch them. But like here on the back, I have basically all the tags for them. So here you see like a lot of tags and these are basically like all the numbers or all the tags that I basically need. And uh, yeah, I haven't really made the whole process of making these tags, but uh, yeah, mainly I do have like the PDF of these tags so you can actually download them and print them out yourself. However, the design is of my certain kind of clapperboard. So you do have to see if it would still fit if you are using a different clapperboard. But the main thing with this, um, like all these numbers are like printed out on one sheet of A4 and then I had to cut them or all the tags uh, loose from each other and then put them in a uh, laminated sheet and make sure there is enough space between every tag so they actually have like enough of the plastic to uh, like melt to each other because you do need to make sure that each tags are sealed off correctly so that they can be used in wet conditions because like uh, around every of the tags there is still a bit of plastic you can see and that seals off the paper from the environment. So it um, yeah, allows these to not be uh, affected in the rain. And then uh, I cut it, every one of them out myself one by one and also pasted um, yeah, Velcro on the back. So every one of these I can just uh, remove and you can see there is Velcro on the back of each of these. And then uh, this is a uh, focus chart, which is also laminated. However, this is not stick into here. This I can just remove. And this is mainly there for like, if uh, we have like certain lens, like a zoom lens, a cine zoom lens with back focusing, and we have to back focus. This chart is really handy to have, but this section can also be used for the camera logs or just clip in a, a script in here and just have this book, uh, yeah, be closed. And this, uh, yeah, is kept closed with Velcro also. And this uh, part is made with corrugated plastic sheets and yeah, and basically held together here at the seam. And also the seam on the inside is also just a uh, gaffer tape. And yeah, that is the easiest and uh, very affordable way to make this. And then to the outside of it, we have here on the bottom here, a insert slate or just a uh, mini slate. And this is for basically close up shots. So when we do a close up shots like this, we can still see all the information. But if we use like this big slate here, uh, yeah, it is too big to see all the information. So that's why I have, uh, like make myself an insert slate. This is also printed out on A4 and then laminated. And this you can also use with whiteboard markers on here. However, I don't have like the wet weather tags to put on here because this is just, yeah, often not really used uh, in outdoor situations, but mostly indoor or inside a car. So that's why a whiteboard marker be okay for this. And then on top of here, we got like masking tape marker tapes. So these are just quick tapes of uh, masking tapes I can uh, pull off of here and just mark down the actors and have like tons of different colors to uh, yeah, basically use for different actors. And then overall I have like on the slate itself on multiple points, I have Velcro on here so I can easily like uh, put my uh, yeah, cleaning cloth for the board on here, but also like the whiteboard marker being uh, stick onto my uh, clapper board because it's really annoying if the production has to wait for the clapper loader because he's missing either the cleaning cloth or missing the yeah 
marker for it. And yeah, those things should be just directly sticked onto your clapperboard. And that was something that I've early on had like already done before I made it into wet weather. So that's why there are those kind of parts. And then for like night scenes or low light situations or dark locations, I have here a small light. So this is basically a bicycle light that is also Velcroed on. And this is basically for, uh, yeah, to put onto here. So I can also use Velcro on here to put it on there and then turn it on. So I have like a small light here, especially when it's really dark that I can have like a light and then I store my clapperboard in a very big pouch. So this pouch is actually also for uh, yeah, traveling with it. And this I have on the back, I have also got Velcro. And this I basically Velcro onto my Pelican case or my first AC bag. And yeah, travel with it that way. And most of the time nowadays I'm working as a first AC. So this is basically there as a backup if the second AC or the clapper loader didn't bring their own clapboard, this would be there so they could use. But also of course, this is a wet weather slate. So if it's rainy or we're in a very humid condition and the normal slate that they have doesn't work, I can bring out this one. And in an upcoming video, I'll be showing you what is inside of my first AC bag as it can differ from a lot of other filmmakers as it is from my own experience that I've learned to uh, put things into my AC bag that were really useful to help on set. And make sure to be subscribed so you'll be notified when I upload that video. Thank you all for watching and I'll hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.